One of the gods said he saw a maiden. Lost? If you're looking for a bed, this is the wrong place. This heap of matchsticks is what everyone calls Helga's bunkhouse. Can you stay here? No. The bunkhouse is for the working man, not some sort of luxury inn for tourists. Of course not. You expect me to take care of it by myself? My niece Vanna helps me with the chores. She'd be more help if she kept her head out of the clouds. She's been with me ever since her parents were killed by bandits, and she was dropped in my lap. I don't know why I bother. Sorry about the mess. Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. Work? I suppose you can call it that. I call it slavery. I work my fingers to the bone keeping this disgusting place clean. Ever since my parents died and Helga took me in, it's been a nightmare. How was I to know she was such a wretched woman? So now I'm stuck living here, while those pigs she calls customers grope me and say the most awful things. It's not just the work, it's everything about her. She's disgusting. I think she takes her worship of Debella a bit too seriously. Do you know she's slept with three different men in the last month alone? What kind of woman would do such a thing? Just for once, I'd like to see her squirm to rub her nose in it. Actually, there is, but I don't think I could get away with doing it. She'd kill me if she found out. You see, I happen to know, after she makes love, she gives her partner a token of her affection, called a Mark of Debella. If you confront her with three of the Marks, she'd be so embarrassed. Well, I don't know what she'd do. Oh, this is going to be great! You need to get the marks of Debella from Boli, Hofgrier, and Indarin. Not sure how you're going to do that, but try your best. Then just confront Helga with them, and the rest works itself out. Try and get those marks without violence, please. I don't want to be res- ...responsible for their deaths. Or yours. I'm kind of busy, but if you need any potions or ingredients, let me know. You here for lessons like Ingen? Or did you wish to buy something? Well, the moisture in the air is better for the ingredients. It isn't every day that you get your hands on fresh Nern root or painted troll fat. It also makes it easier to gather water when the canal is right out the front door. Besides, I also prefer the quiet. I didn't open this business for browsing. Come in, buy what you need, and get out. Hardly. In fact, I don't know how I get anything done with all the distractions I have to put up with. My wife, half York, well, she's a necessary evil, I suppose. Not a lick of talent when it comes to alchemy, but she keeps me fed. Then there's Ingen Blackbriar. Right young thing and a worthy apprentice, when she isn't wasting my rare ingredients. Yes, yes, goodbye. This plate. Where's my head? I never even greeted you properly. I swear if I wasn't around, Elgrim would forget to eat his meals. How we make any coin at all is beyond me. In fact, I need to arrange for someone to pick up an ore sample for me in Shore's stone. Goodness knows Elgrim won't lift a finger to do it. 
You would? Oh, that would be wonderful. Speak to Filnyar in Shore Stone. He's got some sort of ore sample he wants us to identify and was willing to pay us well for it. When Elgrim said we were setting up shop down here, I told him he would catch his death. The dirt, the moisture, it's disgusting. Who wants to spend their life living like a skeever? But that old bellyacre just fed me some nonsense about light ruining his mixtures and being close to the water. Ugh. I know how to mix a few basic potions, but I'm nowhere near as skilled as a master alchemist. I've picked up a few tricks by reading the tomes scattered all over the shop, but I don't have the knack to pull off half of the formulas. I wish Elgrim had spent more time tutoring me than that Ingwen girl. Oh no, I didn't mean it that way. Elgrim can barely put on his own shoes, let alone have the energy to pursue a young girl. He's been gushing about how talented Ingen is at alchemy. He'd never say it to her face. That's not his way. I just think Elgrim's taken it upon himself to mentor the young thing. So he focuses a lot of attention on her. Be careful. The road to Shore's stone could be dangerous. You here for lessons like Ingen? Or did you mm. wish to buy something? Uh, sorry. Just thinking about my experiments. My family. All that wealth and they squander it on foolish ventures and political schemes. I was meant for so much more than all of this. I wish to pledge my life and ply my talents in darker circles. If only my mother would let me, I would make her proud. I'm aspiring to earn that title, yes. However, the road ahead is paved with loose cobbles and deadly pitfalls. Master Elgrim says I'm a natural that I have a unique talent, but I fear his approval masks his intolerance for my mistakes. My errant formulas have cost Master Elgrim a fortune in ingredients, some of which are almost irreplaceable. To restore Master Elgrim's supply, I would need 20 Deathbell, 20 Nightshade, and 20 Nernroot. Am I sensing that you may be interested in gathering these rare ingredients for me? That means more time for my experiments, and less time in the field. Much appreciated. It's exhilarating to observe the effects of my potions on the body. Watching the heart stop, the eyes go blind. We're made up of thousands of parts with thousands of different functions all working in tandem to keep us alive. Yet if only a single part of our imperfect machine fails, life fails. It makes one realize how fragile, how flawed we are. You ask why I'm so fascinated? The irony, the irony that the same world that gave us life provides us the means to die. Nernroot is the easiest. It grows only by the water and makes a unique chiming noise. The only drawback is it won't regrow after harvesting. Nightshade is native to the pine forest and marshy tundra regions of Skyrim and has a distinctive starburst-like violet flower. Last, we have Deathbell, which only grows in marshy tundra terrain. Its inverted bluish-purple flower bunches are unmistakable. My experiments can't be completed until you've brought me those ingredients. Do hurry. Fancy ropes. You a wizard or something? It's about time. I sent them a letter weeks ago. Ah, that Elgrim. 
He'd forget his own pants if his wife didn't help him dress. <laughs> Here you go. Tell Half Yorg that she can chip off whatever she thinks is a fair trade for their time. Red Belly is supposed to be nothing but an iron mine. Been working it for years. Then, right before the spiders had moved in, we found that chunk of ore. Never seen anything like it. I want to know what I'm dealing with before I start tearing it out of the ground. Don't kid yourself. Stone runs in our blood. Is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now? Welcome to the Villamir Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Fancy robes. You a wizard or something? All right, pipe down! You want the whole blessed place to hear you? The arrangement called for a trade. I hope you'll find this suitable. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. I'm kind of busy, but if you need any potions or ingredients, let me know. Have you managed to make it out to Shore's Stone? This place has seen better days, but it's not my fault. Thank you. I'll be sure to get Elgrim to examine this as soon as his <clears throat> busy schedule allows. Here, I had him make you a few things for all that travel. Don't forget us if you need supplies for your journey.
If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, you let me know. I... I... I don't know what to say. Such kindness is unheard of in these times. Here. I want you to accept this as payment for your sacrifice. And I... Well, we both thank you. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. If you're looking for a handout, you'll want to speak with my husband. If you're looking for company, I suppose I could do worse. Any luck gathering those ingredients? Good. My experiments are at a critical stage, and these are just what I need to finish. Here's some coin for all the trouble. Ah, oh, yes. Excellent samples. Thank you. This coin should compensate you for all the bother. Perfect. This is just what I needed. Here's some gold for your time. My experiments can't be completed until you've brought me those ingredients. Do hmm? Sorry. Yes. Master Elgrim will be pleased I've restored his stock of these rare ingredients. I feel I owe you a bit more than some meaningless coin for all your diligence. Here. This key unlocks my supply chest at Elgrim's Elixirs. Feel free to take what you need from time to time. I'll be refilling it once every few days or so. Don't forget to check your supply chest from time to time. I'm kind of busy, but if you need any potions or ingredients, let me know. Oceans, exotic ingredients, I have them all. Blessings of Mara. Lady Mara upon... bids you welcome to her benevolence. We are devoted to the goddess Mara who gave mortals the gift of love, that they might have a hint of eternity. Her blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead. The woman? Fast read. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf.
Have our scouts come Staying up safe, I hope. On these reports of dragons? Yes, my lady. That unpleasantness at Helgen supposedly involved a dragon. It killed several soldiers before it departed. I want you to speak to the city guard. Make sure there's a contingency plan in effect in case Riften falls under attack. Yes, my lady. I've also taken the liberty in preparing a private carriage, just in case. Good. If Riften should fall, it's only right that its leader be spared. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm your As steward, I serve as an intermediary between the Jarl and her subjects. I also handle the less important and day-to-day -day policies that affect daily life in Riften. Lately, I've had my hands full suppressing these ridiculous accusations of corruption in the Keep. There are those that believe the Jarl does nothing for this city, that it's corrupt and run by the Black Briar family. I can assure you that this is entirely false. We are fully in control of everything. I'd hardly call them a guild, more like unorganized rabble. In fact, I wouldn't say they were a threat at all. No, our resources should be spent on preparations for invasion. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. Welcome to Riften, Traveler. I hope the road fared well for you. While I feel Ulfric's cause is just, my concern is for the people of the Rift. How can they continue to lead their already meager lives with dark clouds looming overhead? My heart goes out to them. If only our coffers were deeper, I could protect them as they were my own family. With the Stormcloaks at his back, Ulfric's poised to rid Skyrim of the Empire's forces and invalidate our involvement with the White Gold Concordat. Many have died taking up arms for this cause. I fear that the land will be stained with blood for years to come. Surely you're aware of the great war between the Imperials and the Elves who called themselves the Aldmeri Dominion? When the smoke cleared, the White Gold Concordat was signed. It was supposedly a treaty aimed at establishing peace within the Empire. One of the terms of the treaty was the outlawing of worship to Talos. To the Stormcloaks, this was viewed as the moment when the Empire became unworthy of the allegiance of any true Nord. We're all eager to see them brought to justice. Maven Blackbriar has assured me that they're being dealt with appropriately. As one of our city's most influential citizens, she's taken it upon herself to oversee their incarceration. Sadly, they're proving elusive, but I have confidence that Maven won't give up until this city has been rid of them all. Good journey to you. Did we have an appointment? No. It was a delivery? I can't remember. Yes? Someone actually interested in what I'm doing. Amazing! Well, allow me to explain. My experimentation involves a magical construct and a reagent that will allow the construct to maintain a field of permanent harmonic energy. Aha! So, you're a student of theoretical applied harmonics. Putting aside Ralston's constant of universal inversion for a moment, how would you approach the problem? Draw the harmonic energy into the reagent, or allow it to generate its own field? <coughs> calipers? That's utterly ridiculous. Maybe long ago you could just find calipers in every household across Tamriel, but not anymore. Hold on. You've given me a brilliant idea. Just as calipers hold materials in place, a soul siphon can hold magic fields in place. 
genius! And I'm sure you've completely worked out how to counteract complete dimensional collapse, right? Are you completely insane? Swallow a soul gem? That has to be the most brilliant and unexpected solution I've heard in a long time. It solves all of my problems and keeps the field stable. Now all I need... Wait, what were we talking about? Yes, I could use some help with that. An assistant, perhaps? No, no, no. Maybe a familiar... No, too messy. Well, at any rate, organization is not my strong suit. Not at all. I need as much help as I can get. In fact, if you could retrieve a few things for me, I could start on my next set of experiments. As you can imagine, I tend to forget things often. Leave things around. I really must learn to put these things away. What I need is my Dwemer Stirring Spoon, my Orichalcum Ingot, and my Grand Soul Gem. In fact, I could use them immediately. Bring those items back to me, and I'll be happy to experiment on you. No, no, that isn't right. I'd be happy to reward you. <coughs> Excellent. I can't wait. Well, why are you still standing here? Oh, right. You need to know where they are. That would help. Let's see. Last time I used the Dwemer's spoon was at my dear friend Bodhi's house in Iverstead. Felstar Farm, I believe it's called. The Orichalcum ingot should still be at Winterhold at the Frozen Hearth Inn. I don't know why I didn't just take it with me. And last is the Soul Gem. I left that one in Windhelm at the White File Alchemy Shop. It was a good trade, too. Oh well. I have to remember. Ward first, then summon. I like your robes. Are you a sorcerer? From the college? Because I did something not a soul in this blood-stained house of war has the backbone to do. I dared to speak my mind. I dared speak of the Empire and the lies that have been spread by Ulfric, the leader of the Stormcloaks. Now my mother's stripped me of my heritage and incarcerated me here like a common criminal, and my brother has all but disowned me. Be wary what you say around here, friend. You'll find not all take kindly to insurrection. Ulfric only cares about one thing. Ulfric. He's ordained himself the future High King of Skyrim, and steps on anyone that gets in his way. He's begun a rebellion against those that wish to eradicate the worship of Talos, and uses it as his rallying cry. His cause may be true, but the man is a lie. All he holds in his heart is lust for the throne. All right, then. Careful. Riften's not the safest place for a nighttime stroll. As Jarl Leila's housecar, I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance from her at all times. Indeed. There have been multiple attempts on the Jarl's life. We're not certain if it's the Dark Brotherhood or simply Imperial sympathizers. We've also had run-ins with spies attempting to probe our security for weaknesses. I work with the city guard to make certain they fail. At the end of the day, I'm the last line of defense for the Yar. I will not allow her to fall. Ulfric's a bloody hero. I don't think there's a worthy Nord alive who dare argue the point. He's taking the Empire to task and making them answer for their crimes. I don't think I'll be content until Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim with the ashes of the Concordat at his feet. Liars and bastards, every one of them. 
I'd have their heads on a pike if it wasn't for the war effort. All I need is a dozen men, and we could march into the Ratwe and burn them out like rodents. Stormcloaks won't have it, though. Too busy keeping the Imperial forces at bay. Everyone knows the Thieves' Guild uses the old sewer system beneath Riften as their hideout. I'd go down there myself, but that would leave Yara Layla unprotected. I'm keeping my eye on you. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying, eh, lad? I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. <laughs> it's all about sizing up your mark, lad. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Look how you sniffed out my little scheme at the North Gate. You knew it was a shakedown and you called him on it. That's what I'm talking about. Wealth is my business. Help me out, and I can add to yours. Would you like a taste? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strongbox under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Bran Shea's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from 8 in the morning until 8 in the evening. Meet me then, if you've still got the stomach for it. We've been contracted to make sure Bran Shea remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. Do you want me to hold your hand as well? You're going to have to sneak over to Medesi's stall and use your lockpick on the strongbox. Then, when you have the ring, you pickpocket Bran Shea and leave it behind. I'll be at the market come morning. You better be there too. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in mourning. It was my sister, Lilia. She served as a battle maiden with the storm cloaks. We recently heard she'd been killed. I... I find it difficult to talk about. Perhaps you'd be better off speaking to my parents about it. Anyway, I'm glad my work at the Blackbriar Meadery keeps me busy. Helps me keep my mind off of things. My father was a Stormcloak soldier in his younger days. Now he just walks the streets spewing his hatred and propaganda. My mother is the priestess of Talos. She tends to the shrine and teaches his ways. I'm just not so sure she's delivering the right message. Don't mistake my political beliefs as a substitute for my family values. They're still my parents, and I love them dearly. I just think they've let my sister's death skew their outlook on Ulfric and what he really brings to the table with this war. I'm not so certain that Ulfric's intentions are as noble as they think. I think Ulfric cares about Ulfric and the rest is a smokescreen. I'd appreciate if you kept my opinion between us. The last thing I want to do is have my parents lose another child. Yes, actually. I'm partnered with Maven Blackbriar. I put up a chunk of the gold she needed to get the place off the ground. 
We've been staggeringly successful so far. In fact, I'm almost surprised how quickly she's generated business for us. My name may not be on the label, but some of my blood, sweat, and tears are in every drop. Uh, figuratively, of course. It's been good talking to you. Fancy robes. You a wizard or something? They mean to take our history and crush it all in the name of some damn treaty. The soil beneath our feet is steeped in the blood of our ancestors. We've fought for this land. And died for it. I lost my own daughter to the Imperial Dogs. And by Talos, I'll not lose anyone else. Lelia joined the Stormcloaks many years ago, when the first of the skirmishes broke out across Skyrim. I was so proud of her. She served as a battle maiden, using her healing arts to help those that fell on the battlefield. Never even lifted a blade in her life. It didn't matter. The Imperial soldiers cut her down, killed her like a dog, and left her body to rot in the mud. And that's why I won't rest easy until every single Imperial soldier joins her, and Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim. Farewell, kinsman. Yeah. Need something? You're crazy. How dare you make such an accusation? If word gets around that I betted her, they'll lose all respect for me at the meadery. Take the mark if you want it. It's not worth all this hassle anyway. Well, that was important. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Need I'll something. show you to your I presume like you're way. bothering me. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Come back and see us again. Ours is to smile at your passing, friend. Can I get meat, wine? Looking for a place to stay?